I think, you know, being isolated from your peers, sometimes being isolated from your teachers and other um, caretakers within the school system has been very difficult for children. And I think coming back, it is a shift. I think it's almost two and a half, three years. Some children were outside of the classroom. So now having the opportunity to be back in school and they feel as though there's a deficit, they have to catch up. So of course, there is this pressure to be able to stay up with your peers, especially if you did not have access to certain resources to continue your education while in the home setting. But of course, it's, it's dealing with the stress of it. You know, you're hearing the news all the time. You're reading different information. You don't know, is this going to happen again? Is this going to disrupt my life as I know it? So I think it's really equipping these children, the, well, the, first of all, the persons within the schools to be able to help children to say, listen, we're here to help you cope. We understand where we're coming from and we're trying to create an environment where you feel as though you're safe and you're protected, but then how do I make myself stronger so that I know how to respond the next time this happens? Yes, I think uh, what, what we really hope uh, to get out of, out of this, uh, this week is a, a stronger collaboration, if you'd like, between, uh, across sectors, between representatives from different ministries. Um, because I think when we talk about mental health, when we talk about health prevention, health promotion, when we talk about education, all of this requires a more collaborative approach across sectors. Um, education is not only a business of the Ministry of Education or a Chief Education Officer. Education is the business of a community uh, uh, and of all the professionals working into supporting that community. So if, if there's one thing we want to get out of this week is recognizing this and translating this into better collaboration when colleagues go back to their countries.